Hello and welcome to the Beer Search Party. This is Sean Inman with you and we are doing our second New Planet beer. This one is the 3R Raspberry Ale. Now this is our second New Planet gluten-free beer. Uh, the first one is the one on your left, the Tread Lightly, which is the uh, light ale. And so now we're going to try this fruity one. It's got that uh, raspberry, not uh, raspberry sauce sort of taste, aroma to it. Very light though, um, which is a good sign. Sometimes with fruit beers, you can get way too much of that fakey sort of uh, flavoring. The one that you can sort of tell that isn't of raspberry, but t is made chemically wise to taste like raspberry. This one is at least in the saucy area, so that's uh, a big step up. The taste is pretty um, mild. I mean, you definitely get the raspberry, and you get a nice little sparkle. The uh, base, uh, it's a good thing because I don't think the base is heavy enough to uh, um, to really make this um, super strong. So that's probably about the right amount of raspberry for that base. Um, if you get a bigger base, you would probably need a lot more raspberry to measure up. But I think they got a good balance with the what they've got beer-wise and then the raspberry flavor. So I think that works. Uh, the head on it disappeared pretty quickly. I poured it and it's like, oh, nice little, oh, and it's gone. But otherwise, it's an, again, like the Tread Lightly there, um, very nice summer drink. And I think uh, considering the fact that a lot of people would like to have more than just one plain vanilla sort of beer, having a couple different options in this gluten-free area is a big plus because there's people that want to try beer and don't want to be stuck with just one type for the rest of their life. It's got a good sparkle to it. Could probably do with a, another little boost of sparkliness to make it really, really sing out. But it's good and it's got a little bit of a alcohol burn to it. Just, I mean, just slight. Just very slight. So all in all, I would probably... Because I like raspberry, and because I think this isn't the fakey bakey sort of thing, I think this gets a slight nod over the tread lightly. Just because I like a little muscle or a little something extra in the beer. Um, not that uh, the tread lightly is any worse for it, but um, I've just been accustomed to drinking stuff with so much hops and so much other. Uh, things added that uh, you get used to that and you get to a certain plateau and plainer beers which are maybe well done or even more well done craft wise can sometimes seem seem boring or a little pedestrian even though they're done well and are executed well so one of my goals this summer is to try to have more of these tread light leaves these more these raspberry ales that are nice light summer beers and not be drinking big old Russian Imperial Stouts uh, when the thermometer gets higher and higher and higher. So I have to say two for two so far with the New Planet ones. Um, they're, uh, I mean, you can tell slightly that that they're not beery beers, but I think a lot of people would be would be fooled and I think a lot of people who drink Budweiser and that such that would drink these would think that these were just beyond the pale awesome so that I think is high praise indeed for a couple pretty excellent beers so there you go the Sean Inman beer search party thanks again to New Planet for sending me these two I have one more left the off the grid pale ale to come and hope you enjoy this and thank you very much for watching cheers